Hey guys, I'm Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment and you're tuned into the Talking Shed. Uh, today it's June 19th. Uh, today is the third day of the big heat wave we've had here across the Midwest. Uh, it's about 8.15 in the morning and it's already about 84 degrees. Uh, sun's really beating down on these crops. We haven't had rain here in probably uh, at least a week or so. Um, but a lot of guys are talking about how this is uh, taking a beating on the corn. But um, what we want to talk about today is a couple things. Uh, maybe you've seen where uh, guys all over the internet on Twitter and Facebook are painting these corn plants to measure their growth per day. So the idea is you can paint the stalk and down here near the base you will see where the leaves and the collars are growing each day and it allows you to get an accurate measurement of the corn plant each day by painting it you'll be able to see the green showing through so uh, what we did here is we measured a nice healthy uh, v7 plant that's what roughly this field is v6 v7 and uh, next to it we've got a late emerger um, this late emerger it's only probably uh, maybe half as tall as, as the big plant that we planted or painted and what I want to do is uh, we'll measure this throughout this week and see how each plant is growing to kind of document how how a uh, late emerge seed can really affect you in the end. So we've got uh, a, kind of a, a dud here in between several nice corn plants and we'll be able to measure the good one versus the bad. So gonna be some interesting stuff that I'll bring you later on this week in the uh, newsletter. Something else I wanted to show you is as uh, we were looking at these plants, if you dig into these corn plants a good bit and tear them apart, even after these few days of 90 degree weather, high humidity, it's amazing how much moisture is inside of these plants when you really break them down. You can see that corn leaf here in the morning. We didn't really get any rain overnight, but it's amazing how these plants can capture moisture and, and utilize that even on these dry days you know you see corn rolled up here this week and you really think man that stuff's taking a beating but you kind of dig into it and uh, it's just conserving the moisture and uh, yeah dig, get out there and dig into your fields it's amazing what you'll find uh, as far as how much moisture is still out there so that's what we're talking about today we'll bring you uh, some updates on these plants later on this week thanks for tuning in